Hey guys, it's like, guys, it's Ice 15 here back with another wrestling figure review, and this time we're going to do the Mattel WWE Elite Collection side with the WWE Elite 87 Apollo Crews. So this is actually my first Apollo Crews figure, figure, but also just before I start the review, I'm actually gonna point this out. This is of the Chase variant, variant version. I actually don't have the normal one. I found this at Walmart. And luckily, I got this for got this um, before someone else bought it. I will say that um, the WWE figures have one basically are the same price as the AEW figures, twenty one dollars, and possibly a little bit more. But that's mostly about how much it is. But yeah, most but for but I haven't really reviewed a WWE figure in a while since the Elite Seventy One um, Jeff Hardy. So I'm I'm well. Actually, I did also review also the Elite. A1, um, Bianca Belair, and LA3, Sasha Banks, I will say it now. But yeah, we got. And just going over the box, it's actually almost similar to the other ones. We just got like. Um, certifying authentic, true effects up here. We got a shot of a Paul Cruz. Paul Cruz down here. Um, WWE logo, Elite A7. Sorry, but that's not like a, the best thing. And then on the side, we just have a shot of Paul Cruz. And then I shot Paul Cruz, um, this time in real in real life, and basically from one of the shows. Um, lead collection down here, red swoosh, and then also lead, lead collection right there with a tell tell logo. And then we just get like a short bio, um, basically saying this is, is from. Well, this is actually from the SummerSlam attire. This is a, the normal one. Eh, it's basically from Extreme Rules Horror Show when I think he faced um MVP or someone. For the United States Champion, and was presented with this new one, or I think MVP um, revealed it, and then and I think he faced MVP at um, Extreme Rules. Like I said, I don't know. I can't exactly remember from that. It's uh, this is from 2020, which was the worst year in my life. Like I said, and I and pretty much nothing much there. But like I said, we are gonna be doing the chase variant, which is from SummerSlam. But again, like I said, here's just the rest of the figures in the wave. I plan on getting all of these. I want to get Santos Escobar, Otis, and then Candice LeRae and Asuka and Braun Strowman since I need a new Braun Strowman figure. But yeah, that's enough of the box. Let's get on with the accessories, and then we'll go over the figure itself. So going over the accessories real quick, and sorry I didn't get too close. Um, we don't even have that much with um. Paul Cruz. We just have like a few interchangeable hands and then the new United States champion belt. So going over the just the interchangeable hands, we got two fists and then we got two microphone holding hands. Again, and, and again, if you saw the, uh, but just to show you just how like, you get off, they just pop off pretty much very easily. Again, there's just the microphone holding hands, just microphone holding hands, hands just in a black skin tone. And then, then let's just pull out for a bit so I can get my hand in here without any issue. And like I said, we just, it just pops in. And pretty much like that. And again, we just got that. We just got two Michael hands and two fists. And like I said, just here's the other fist just to show. Again, it's just the same thing, just molded in a black skin tone. But... The biggest thing, that the reason why I wanted to get this figure, well, besides the Apollo Crews figure, because I don't have any, the original Apollo Crews, I also have, they also have the new United States Champion, and it just looks damn good. Again, I really like this design. The only issue, I'm going to have to agree with everyone else, they should have blue in the stars section. Hopefully, maybe they'll do it at some point and add a blue there. Maybe you like to do it do a redo of this, but again, I really did like the, the run this design. I did like the other version. Um, can't exactly remember what I put, what happened to it. Yeah, I can't exactly remember why I put the old one, but I don't know. You've probably seen it in multiple videos, but yeah, I got the side points, just normal Dolly logo right here with the white in it with the star heart patterns, and that's pretty much it. Again, you saw I actually saw this bomb on in the the um the uh survivor series pay prediction video. But yeah, it just clips in like this. We also 
do have the Galileo logo with the star pa patterns in the back. I don't know if you can see it. You guys can kind of see it. Again, I really wish I had that better camera, but it does clip pretty well. But that's pretty much it for the accessories. Now let's go on with the figures. And here is the Apollo Crews figure itself. Like I said, you've probably already seen this in the the um, Survivor Series pay-per-view predictions that I just made. That is probably uploaded by now. It's not uploaded by as time of this coin, but it is going to be uploaded first before this one. But yeah, this is the Apollo Crews figure, the new one. Um, there was a this isn't the first one it was a waste. I think it was a waste a long time ago, back in the when when it was like in the, in the NXT and then everything like that. I never got that figure. I kind of regret not getting it from when I saw it like it, at um like a Walmart. You know, I think it was you know a clearance also. But again, I do. I'm happy I got one now. Like I said, I will say they. I think they changed up the um. Ains the, ains the kind of formula for a bit, at least as far as the torso goes, but they also add a few things here and there. But yeah, this is the Chase variant, like I said. And, um, and so this is the SummerSlam attire, so this is the white attire, which I was kind of more excited for than the the regular version. Um, but yeah, we got, as far as the looks of the attire, we got the trunks here. It has the kind of tribal kind of tech. Um, pattern here on this side, and then we got gifted and um, right here in gold, and it really is a cool shiny gold. And then we just have a paw on the back, kind of a I'm just just looking really cool right there. Um, I, I think there's a great symbol on the end, I'm, I'm not really sure what it is, but you guys can call it down below what that is. We got um, a armband with. Went kind of like that tribal part back there, and then we have gifted on this side in white with the white rest tape. We got the very cool knee pads with white, and again, and the gold looks very shiny. Shiny again, they've been doing better with the gold all of it. And it's um, just plain black boots, and um, then some knee tape. And like I said, I think this some um, they're using the ricochet. Torso, I, I think if I bring them in, and yeah, that's definitely the same torso they're using because this guy only go, goes that far in. Well, this might go far, and maybe it's a different torso. I don't know. It just looks like the ricochet torso. If you kind of, we'll say that he goes further, so then ricochet. So maybe it's a retool of that ricochet torso, or it's just the same one when they use it. Well, Time back. It can't go backwards though. Which I think we're gonna see kind or maybe a little bit, I don't know. But yeah. Like I said, torso's pretty good. Now the head sculpt is pretty good also. Again, it's less cartoony than its first one, obviously two effects. Honestly I want one of mine a pissed off head sculpt. Since again he's kind of more of a heel now and this is kind of like outdated, but it's kind of good for me until I figure out the formula to use. The formula to make a new uh, Paul Cruz's update attire. Again, you guys can comment down below what formula, formula I could use. But yeah, head skull looks pretty good. Beard, everything. Again, I don't think this one could come off. Yeah, I don't think this head skull could come off. I think they should start doing that around uh, the next wave and Elite 89 with um, Damon Priest, which I'll be reviewing. But yeah, that's enough of that. Let's go over to the articulation. So going over the articulation after I kind of rambled a bit. Sorry if that happened a bit. So... So the head can go up this far and this far down. Again, there's a little bit. Of, again, it's a little bit also just a kind of wiggle room a little bit. It's not loose or anything. I will say, or maybe it is. I don't know. And it's not too loose though. But yeah, the arms can go up that this far with a T pose. Um, pretty much. It's not like with the AEW figures going farther up. But yeah, they can go 360. They can have a, they have a bicep swivel, but the biggest thing about these that are new, new, they have double joint elbows in the elite line. The first time they did it was with the ultimate edition figures. I'm glad they moved it into the elite line. Like I said, um, as far as the torso, I think it's just it can go down this far, and it can't go far too far back. Really, there's nothing too much I can really go. Also, the hands do do go, rotate and then hinge up and up and down. Um, like I said, 
Um, as far as the legs go, I can go do the splits. Again, these are actually ball joints, so that's a good thing. I mean, so it's not a, it's not a pin, it's not a pine cone joint or anything, but yeah. I go that far. I can't go too far because it's kind of the butt again. I can't kick that, that far. And then you have double joint knees and a dice cut. You also have a boot swivel. Oval, a, a little bit of ankle pivot, not too much. And then you do have a toe hinge. This one's actually a little bit um, better. So yeah, you can do everything. You can pull off all the moves that Paul Cruz has. And now that's pretty much it. Now, let's just, we're going to do a few compare. But I, since I didn't... And we're going to do a few comparisons, and then we're going to do a few a few comparisons, a little bit, even though I'm going to be showing some figures that, that I haven't done yet. So, reviewed yet, so let's just go on with the comparisons, and let's show with the U.S. champion, and then we'll do the final. I am, but here's a few comparisons, just with some uh, other like figures that I haven't reviewed. Um, mostly that's Kevin Owens, and then one that I have reviewed, which is Jeff Hardy. But yeah, so... Size comparison is pretty much pretty was is pretty much going for it. Um, um, as far as the Kevin Owens go, um, yeah, pretty much the same height. They're also just six and just maybe, yeah, yeah. Jeff Hardy might be a tad bit taller, but, but I don't know. Just I'm kind of half a taller, but again, like I said, pretty. It size is pretty well with some other elites. Lanes, heck, I'll even throw in, switch out Drew McIntyre, and he's a bit taller again, but he's a big dude, again, and heck, even, like, one they have, that at least, um, right, they have right away with, um, we got, we got, um, Big E, when he's just, like, I don't know, slightly taller again, and that's just pretty much it, even though this is a basic, Figure, but again, pretty much it for that, for the size of Paraston. And then here he is with the, the United States, just with the United States champion around his waist. Again, he was always started champion when summer sun went around because this is what the the um, this attire is based on. And like I said, this is the Chase variant, but again, like I said, and we pretty much looks pretty good on the, on the belt on Apollo. It looks good on. The current champion, Damian Priest. And yeah, again, there's just not too much I can go over with this part. And and like I said, and, um, it's pretty much pretty good. Um, like I said, there's just around the waist, and then here's just around the shoulder. Well, over the shoulder, but again, pretty good. Pretty, pretty nice. Now let's go on with the final, final thoughts. Of so overall, I just think this figure is pretty, is just a... Pretty perfect figure again. There's no issues with the, the articulation. Again, the legs are on ball joints. There, the the small knee pads kind of doesn't hinder anything. And I get, I the biggest upgrade for this is the double joint elbows. Like I said, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that um this wave doesn't have like you can remove the head or anything like that. So I'm pretty sure you can't do that yet. But this wave, I think it was a late 88 and then a late 89 because um, Damon Priest's head can easily pop off. So, like I said, that's pretty much, but again, this is a pretty much must have. Again, I kind of like this one better than the normal one, Just it, it's just this blue tire liar um, that's, that's based off Extreme Rules. Also, again, this is the Chase variant. And anyway, like I just said, so again, this is it from my review of the Chase variant Elite A7 Paul Cruz. And also the biggest thing is that the United States Champion, the new United States Championship belt is finally in here in your, your collection. I will say for a little bit, before I got Damien Priest, I had to put on, I was add on um, uh, Finn Balor for a bit. I can mostly because I that's my prediction. He's going to be fine. He's going to be United States Champion before the end of the year or around next year. I think that's the only other champion he hasn't has gotten besides the other champion. And then also, the, he's been the Universal Champion and two-time NXT Champion, like I said. But I'm predicting he's going to be United States Champion before the end of the year. But yep, I'm not going to go any longer with this video because I'm going to get back to watching Law & SVU. So, 
like I said, remember to like this video, comment down below what you guys think of this figure, what you think of the review in general. Like I said, um, do you like the wrestling figure reviews? Do you think I should keep reviewing them? Do you like just all my my toy reviews? Just having a variety like Kamen Rider, Power Rangers, Super Sentai, and just even the reaction videos, which I still need to get back to. Um, I think I want to do a reaction video after I'm done with the wrestling part, but again, like I said, that's pretty much it for this review. But again, just comment down. Any, any comments okay? Any feedbacks okay? You can also remember to share it to any social media like Instagram, Twitter, mostly Twitter. Just anything just to spread the love, spread the channel, the this channel out a little more. And like I said, and remember subscribe and tap the bell. More videos coming soon. Let's get up the 500 subscribers, even more, even just higher with the subscriber counts and the size of the team. Going higher, fire kicking. Out of here.